Welcome to the online demonstration of TT Workbench. Test case development. This demo shows a small example based on SIP, the session initiation protocol. After installation, you find the SIP test suite in the development view of TT Workbench. On the left hand side, you see the TTCN3 projects view with all available projects. In the TTCN3 subfolder, there are the TTCN3 source modules, which are standardized by the European Telecommunications Standard Institute, ETSI. Here, I will take out our SIP example. Let me introduce some of the features available to help you to develop TTCN3 source code. In the Preferences mode, you can select your requested TTCN3 edition. Testing technologies make sure to always be up to date with the latest edition of the TTCN3 language. To get an overview of all available projects, the dependency view will be helpful. Go to Windows, Show View, Others. In the TTCN3 development folder, select Graph Module Dependencies and press OK. On the right hand side, the Graphical Module Dependency view shows the dependencies of available projects. After computing the dependencies, you will see the complete tree structure of TTCN3 modules correlating. On top, in the root folder of the SIP solution, you will see how the main module depends on all available TTCN3 sources. It is possible to decrease the view to see only parts, for instance, for the RFC 3261 folder, which includes standardized SIP TTCN3 sources from ETSI. Here on top is the main module and some other modules for call control, registration, querying capabilities, and for messaging. All depend, for example, on the Steps module, which includes reusable functions for the different test cases. After getting an overview of the modules, you can open up these TTCN3 modules with the Core Language Editor. The basis of TTCN3 is the type configuration which I start now. The generation of an outline helps you to easily step through the source code. Let's choose one of the message types. For example, the invite request for inviting users to call. The invite request is a record type, a TTCN3 specific type similar to a struct in C. This invite request depends on several header fields, a request line, message headers, and a message body. You can simply increase the source code view and jump to a specific declaration. For example, the declaration of the request line or the message headers. A request line is apparently nothing more than a structure depending on a method and a SIP URL. The SIP URL includes TTCN3 base types like a char string or user information. In the next step, you can fill up these types with specific values. Finally, these are the messages to be used for sending and also for checking the received statements. You see all previously defined TTCN3 templates here. I will take out one of the templates, which is a parameterized template, and include specific constant fields, like the SIP name version, or hard-coded fields, like the integer value for forwarding the message. Some fields are set to omit, if they are not relevant in this case. For others, the mandatory parameters are assigned or subtemplates are defined. To change a template or a message data structure, TT Workbench provides a GUI, the message building system, to change and edit TTCN3 templates or to build new TTCN3 template structures. Just fill in the values you might want to change. 
If you want to change the SIP name version, for example, just enter the number, let's say 2.0, and press Next. You see this change directly in the template structure. It is also possible to build a new template from an existing type. Click Control plus Space to see all available types. Take, for example, the Invite Request type and generate the necessary values from here. Another available feature is the code highlighting. Users can individually choose the formatting and the syntax of colouring, specific keywords and source code. Last but not least, let's have a look at the test case behaviour required for execution. I will take a very simple test case that just sends out an invite request and expects a preliminary receive message, a 180 ringing, or a final message, a 200 OK, to establish a VoIP call. Here you see the TTCN3 core notation of this test case. There is some initialization at the beginning. Several keywords like ports which declare the interfaces to the IUT. And a template reference for the message that will be sent out or received. Here you see the invite request reference as a template structure, just introduced before. Now, a timer will be started, followed by an alternative behaviour of what is expected from the system under test. The first response branch in the alternative is supposed to receive a message with a status code integer value between 100 and 199. This is a template structure which includes some kind of inheritance from an originally defined default template. And here you see the TTCN3 wildcard mechanism for the reason phrase, a question mark. It must be there, but a detailed value is not of interest. Another view of the TTCN3 source code can be shown with our graphical editor. There are two different views the textual editor and the graphical editor, to generate the graphical format of TTCN3 used for documentation or better overview. Within this editor, you have a full round-trip engineering possibility. On the one hand side, you can define test cases from scratch, in a graphical way. Then you can switch to the textual notation and change your test cases textually. Afterwards, you can load them up in the graphical notation again to make modifications. Now I will import the TTCN3 core notation to show you the import mechanism. I will take only the first test case introduced before. TT Workbench is now analysing the complete source code. It provides the complete type system and the template structures already available, with the same group structure given in the core language editor. By selecting the first test case, a diagram from the textual notation is automatically being generated. To see the same representation of this test case in a graphical way, just open the graphical editor. You see the invite request for sending out the message, the start of a timer and the definition of several alternatives. If the alternatives match, meaning the response from the system under test is the expected one, the test case passes. In some cases, 
The verdict is said to fail at the end. Below, you see the test case as TTCN3 core notation. If you want to define your own test case, just give it a new name. For example, test case 1. Now you can choose between all available templates. Change not to send out an invite request, but an option request, and receive an acknowledgement. The TTCN3 core notation will be changed automatically. Now you can export the TTCN3 core language back into the editor. I just changed the TTCN3 file and open it in the core language editor. Here you see the test case name which was changed plus changed send and receive event.